You just think that you had a tough time, right? Am I? Okay. All right. We have four boys in this house. <laughs> We got poor boys in here, and, and it's hard for me to keep them in mind. Uh, four boys and how many girls? Me and Stacy. You have a problem. <laughs> This, this, I don't know. I don't know if there's a solution. <laughs> I'm not sure that we can. I'm not sure that we can solve this problem, you know, because men are hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get serious. Okay. So. We have four, four boys, and, and it's me and Stacy, and I'm looking, and I'm looking around, and these boys are acting really goofy. Okay, so okay, I'll tell you another story. So she's having trouble with some of the people in her house. I had a time when I had trouble with one of the women who was, that I was living with. Right. She drove me crazy. Oh, no. And I lived with her for a long time. And you know why she drove me crazy? Because she loved me. And she was always, wherever I went, there she was, right in front of me. And I couldn't get any space at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna like this no, you're not gonna like my story because I didn't like it either. Here's what happened. So I went, I had a, a person who always helped me with the, how I was doing in the community. And I was telling, and this, this man was a, a friend, his name is Bill, and he's I yell and say, I can't stand it anymore. I don't want to live with her. I want to move, or I want her to move. And uh, so I would tell him this, and he was very quiet, and he always said, you know, you'll get it. In the... So this one day I went, and I said, this is the end. No more. <laughs> and, uh, she has to go, or I have to go. I can't stand it. You know that. You know how it feels. Yeah. Okay. So be careful, because now here's what he said to me. He listened to me for quite a long time. As I say, he's very peaceful and quiet, and when I yell and scream, he sits with his feet up, and he's got his head back and his eyes closed, as if I'm not even there. And I'm screaming and saying, I can't, and I'm crying and saying, it's so terrible. And so when I finished, I said, so are you in there, and are you going to answer me? What, what are you, what's the answer? And he said, it's not about her. It's not about her. So I looked around the room to see if I could find anybody else that it would be about. But there was nobody else there except me. And what he meant by that was that I can't change anybody and that I'm the one that has to change. <laughs> Those guys in a whole new way, and you 
have to love him. Sorry. <laughs> Even if you don't want to, because they're not going to change. 